Okay, it's not Amorous 2, but this might be one of the most ambitious furry games on the market right now. <laughs> hey guys, it's your boy Boda Doggo, and welcome to Winds of Change. Um, this is a furry RPG that came out last year in August, so it's almost a year old now that I'm playing it. And I got, I was gifted this game by Bammel, the same person who gifted the last game I played, uh, Investigator. Uh, he gifted me this game, I think, three days after it was released. Um, but it's a furry RPG uh, that is voiced by all the other characters, not the main character, like the character you play yourself. You have to read it out, or I will have to read it out. But all the other NPC characters are fully voiced, and that's why I think it's a very ambitious game. I'm not sure how much of it I will play, so please let me know if you want to see more of it. But yeah, I guess that's much more to say, so uh, let's go! Enjoy your adventure and choose wisely. In the world of Alestia, where the spirits reign supreme. Am I a spirit? We will see. The rebellion is in shambles. With the recent loss of their leader, they are struggling. But this defeat was not without a victory of its own. For in his final moments, he secured an artifact of great importance. This blade was paramount to the Triumvirate's leadership of Alestia. And without it, their tyrannical grip on the people would surely falter. Having no choice, they give their Grand Inquisitor one simple order. Destroy the Rebellion and retrieve the Lost Blade of the Triumvirate. But Dormek, the new leader of the Rebels, has set other plans in motion. Hiding the Blade in Valinorth, he is confident that it will be protected. This sheltered hamlet is now custodian to the weapon that would liberate the world. And so... It would be met with a gruesome fate by the Triumvirate and their Grand Inquisitor. Whoa. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm not sure. Am I in the rebellion or am I in with the the uh, Empire? <laughs> Wind of change. Now, oh, there we go. Everything is burning. I can do little to stop it from spreading. An immense pain assaults my head, and I throw my face into my hands. The same question repeatedly plays in my mind. What am I doing here? Oh, is this like every other RPG game where you start off from like, I have amnesia, I don't remember anything. <laughs> I have no knowledge what happened up until this point. My brain is struggling to fill in the blanks, not gaining any headway. It was almost like, until this exact moment, I never existed. Then why is it now that condition has found me? Was there something I could do to put out these flames? Or perhaps... Was I the one who caused the inferno to begin with? <gasps> what if? What if we we are like the, the, the thingy who, who wants to find the sword, but we don't know it, and we're gonna uh, gain the trust from the rebellion, and then we find out that we are the bad person in it, and uh, no, I don't think that's... <laughs> A foolish thought, and I throw it away. If I was responsible, then I wouldn't feel the sense of dread. An emotion shared by those who stand beside me. Come on, pick up the pace! If we waste any more time, we won't make it out alive. There's no way the Elder would let me live that one down. There's no way. I feel like she's escorting me, and that I should follow her. Could it be that she been tasked with my protection? I grasp at the straws that are the memories in my mind. I'm only able to latch onto one. It's the title that I go by. Are you even paying attention? Oh, so are you gonna be... Uh, male or female? I'm gonna be male then. I'm the seer. I know who you are, seer. Did you hit your head or something? I guess. <laughs> she scoffs and turns out the way. But I know she's right. I'm not taking this seriously. It feels like a dream, and I doubt that it's all happening. A few moments later, a sudden sensation startles me. There's a firm grip on my shoulder. We aren't alone. Underneath the veil of fright, I turn to greet the second stranger. And Valessa has our safety in mind, okay? Forgive her hot-headedness for me. Freedom isn't too much farther. Well, hello there. <laughs> we need to stay calm and think this through. Two guys like us, we should have no problem. 
We'll be safe and sound before you know it. Oh, okay, mysterious stranger. We weave through the houses and alley to remain unseen. Doing our best to be completely silent, we bring no attention to ourselves. The flames encourage our urgency, but we're careful not to be fast or reckless. Our silence makes everything else more prominent, however. The screams of those being slaughtered fills him with a feeling of disgust. So there are people attacking as well? It's not just the fire? We need to find cover, and Vanessa points out a small alcove waiting nearby. Look, they're dying because they panicked. We need to stay calm and think through this together. If we freak out, we'll only end up like them, you know? She has a point. Ooh. Our first instinct was to run, but so was theirs. We should let them face the brunt of this attack. I don't like that idea, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm almost going with the sad part. Uh, wait, so we're letting them die to buy us some time? Happy, <laughs> good idea. Let them soak up for us. Near to let has, has to be another way to do this. I'm gonna do with the sad part, because that's how I felt about it. <laughs> what else are we supposed to do? We're not equipped to take them on alone. We should always fight. But using them like pawns, Ulrich. The people of Valinor deserve more than that. Agreed. Do you have any better ideas? If we try to save them all, we'll die. I'm here to protect you two, not kill you. Hmm. That's not good enough. <laughs> My suspicions are correct. Ulrich is the one protecting us. But why exactly are we higher priority than the civilians? Maybe because you're not civilians then? Adventure guests that we currently are in this val valley north. The pain in my head pulses again, and I stumble back. As I let out a groan, Ulrich rushes over to my side. His exaggerated concern is now understandable. It must be the smoke. Make sure to sit down. The lower you are right now, the better. Are you having trouble breathing? Did the, did the smoke give me amnesia? <laughs> I shake my head and let him know that it's not the smoke. This causes Valesha to chime in, voicing her concern as well. Yeah, something else is going on here. He's been acting strange for a while now. I'm sorry. Is there something you need to tell us? I don't know what's going on right now, or I can't seem to remember anything. Uh, I can't seem to remember anything, let's be honest right now, because they seem to trust me and... Uh, I should, but what if... What if they did this to me, and now they are like want me to think that they are my friends but they are actually not because I am their enemy or they are my enemy so maybe I should not trust them hmm no I trust them I can seem to remember anything did some debris fall on your head back there I'm starting to side with Vales on this one come on time to gear you up I'm probably reading too much into this <laughs> he steps away for a moment and inspects the ground around him there's a brief period where I can't see him but he returns with the blade the fire causes it to glisten, almost like it's begging me to take it. I don't care what's going on in that head of yours, but it's not more important than your survival. We're all overwhelmed. It's not just you. Ooh. He holds out the blade, expecting my compliance. At this rate, it seems like fighting will be inevitable. Well, you, you said before that we should fight. Or, like... No, maybe didn't you? That was I. That I said that we should fight. The character said that. Oh, it's so sad that people are being killed. Way. Take it. We won't be standing here forever. As soon as we leave this alcove, we'll be vulnerable. I can't take care of you all the time, you know. Um, I can't fight. I have no training. Aggressive, of course. I'll defend myself as well. Hmm. Oh, look who's playing. Hello, Bamo. Thank you for the game. <laughs> uh, aggressive or I can't find I have no training. No, let's not be aggressive because we still have the amnesia thing and headache and stuff. So let's be like, oh, I can fight. I had a training. You must be mistaken. This wasn't an option. I can't keep an eye on both of you in the heat of battle. Valesa has her daggers and you need something as well. Okay. He grabs my hand and places the blade in my grasp. He's strong enough that I knew that resisting was worthless. It's probably better not to fight, so I take it a nod. Now then, it's time to move. Seems like some of the noise has finally died down. We should start by investigating the town square. Ooh. He walks off, expecting us to follow along. But as I'm about to step, take a step, Vanessa grabs my arm. The look on her face tells me that something is wrong. You are confused about all this, right? I bet you don't even know what being the seer means. 
or how we've known each other for our entire lives. So now you just trust me that I don't remember anything? I look at the ground in both shame and confusion. She's completely right. My head is a mess. As I try to think of an excuse, her response surprises me. That's normal, but please listen. Huh? We only have a few moments before Oric notices we're not there. The seer is special. You wield spirits to induce prophetic visions. Huh, okay. When you have these visions, you're unable to remember anything. When you wake up, you'll dismiss it as a dream and forget it ever happened. As your scribe, it's my job to help you take advantage of this. Take advantage of me being out? What? No. But okay, so this happened before, but then why, why did you act so surprised at the beginning? Uh, if she already knew what was going on. And why, why does the other dude seem so surprised? I mean, if this is what Sears do, wouldn't he know about it, being the bodyguard and all? Hmm... Suspicious. We have to follow Oric now, but know one thing. The way you're acting, I'm certain this is a vision. That means you can use it for information. What? She takes a few steps close to me and grabs my hand. Staring right into my eyes, I notice a glimmer of hope shining within her. I'm relieved. This means Valnorth is still fine. <laughs> when you wake up, use this vision to save everyone. It's your duty as here to ensure this doesn't become real. Wait, what? So, when? When you wake... Is this some tra time traveling shit? So he's like, when he's visioning, he's actually traveling in time, and the people there can see it? So like, you, you know, notice that he starts to, to act weirdly. It's like, oh, he's a vision. He's having a vision from a, an early time. Is that what's going on? She lets go of my hand and follows after Ulrich. Though it's hard to believe what she said, I'm less confused. I finally had a reason to why I felt so disconnected. But if this was all a vision, then what would become of Ulrich and Valissa? I mean, it's like, a, 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 like um, another dimension that you look into or something. Would all of this carnage be undone as soon as I woke up? What if they died? Or what if I died in this vision? I followed up with Valesa, realizing I might never know. But the faint sense of determination rises up within me. If there is a chance that I could stop this, I had to do it. Okay, I am, I am utterly confused. <laughs> In the present day, the Triumvirate conspires with the Grand Inquisitor, for the events that led to Valeros destruction had yet to be set in motion. So he knelt before his master, more eager to serve than he had ever been before. Rise, Sophie, but please assure us of your certainty. We hate to act without knowing everything. This is creepy. The prisoner mentions Valenorth over and over. The rebels are hiding something of importance there. Along with recent events, we can only surmise one thing. Uh huh. The Blade of Exodus. Oh. I am almost certain. But if that's where they've chosen to hide it, it means that our other target is also there. Your compliance pleases us, Sophie. Your plan was risky, but it worked out in the end. A final interrogation would influence our decision further. You'd have me interrogate the prisoner once more. If I may be so bold, to what end do you request this? Not you, Sophie. We want your apprentice to do this. It is time for him to prove his worth. What if I am the apprentice? The voices echoed loudly through the darkened chambers. It mattered not which Triumvir spoke, for they were all just one mind. With a clear irritation in his voice, Sovi did his best to stay calm. My apprentice, I've told you many times I want to work alone. It would be more efficient for me to do this myself. In subordination, this is unbecoming of you, Sophie. We demand that you obey. The role of Grand Inquisitor can be very dangerous. If we were to lose you, a replacement would be necessary. 
you must train this replacement while you still breathe. As you command. So he turned his back to the triumvirate and spotted his apprentice. He was standing by the door, listening to the conversation. If he'd heard Sovi's distaste for him, she showed no concern. Interrogation? Hmm. Oh, he was cute. And what would you have me extract? I thought the prisoner was at his wit's end. Anything to confirm our suspicions about Valinorth. If you fail, I will not hesitate to punish you. Remember what we're on the verge of. Rude. I understand, Master. I'll do my best to get you what you need. What are the... <laughs> limits when it comes to my approach? <laughs> Keep him alive, Helen. I find that psychological pain is the most valid approach. He cares more for his rebel allies than he does for himself. I was just gonna ask who are they talking about and like, oh yeah, there was a prisoner. <laughs> then I will threaten the rebellion's very core. I'm grateful to have this opportunity, Master. Things are starting to line up well for me. They tend to do that when you have the Triumvirate's blessing. We should take care of this immediately and catch them unprepared. Every moment we waste is a moment they gain, Halen. <sighs> they leave the room together, talking among themselves. The Triumvirate waits until they're gone before speaking. A faint smile on their faces as age-old plans come to fruition. So it's finally going to happen, isn't it? What we've been waiting for all these years. Do you think we should tell Sophie our true plan? Who are they asking? I mean... Are they just talking to themselves? But if there are just one mind, then who are they asking? Hmm. Holland entered the prison cell without Sovi at his side. His master remained outside as a suedo display of trust, but it was evident to Holland that no trust existed. The prisoner looked up, surprised to see a different face, yet within him was a slowly dwindling hope. Cut off from the rebellion, this would be his final days. So, someone different has finally come. What are you, <laughs> the executioner or something? I figured it was only a matter of time. <laughs> the voice like this sounded so weird. Like, I'm a prisoner here and I'm gonna die soon. So, someone different has finally come. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Actually, Sovi said to keep you alive. You seem to underestimate your value, Shane. You think I'm important? That's not what I expected to hear. Don't take it the wrong way. You must not know what I meant. He knelt down in front of the prisoner. With a sinister smirk, he tried to intimidate Shane. You're important as a bargaining chip. And the fact I must keep you alive is a curse. When I'm through with you... <laughs> you'll beg for death. <laughs> it somewhat reminds me of like a Sith. Sith. A Sith from the Star Wars. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The Star Wars franchise? The Star Wars stories? The Star Wars? Star Wars? From the from the Star Wars? <laughs> you see, I'm different from Sovi. He's past the bar, they no longer need to test him. But I'm in the position where results must happen. When we give you back, you'll be a broken man. And soon after, the foundation of the rebellion will crumble. You think we don't know that Damik is your leader? What? Shane's eyes shot wide open, in an utter shock. It seems that Harlan's threat worked to great effect. You'd be stupid not to think we have inside men. I could order Danek's execution in a matter of seconds. You don't value your life, but you value his. Interesting. Indeed, very interesting. Good. Now. I expect you to answer my questions. The Blade of Exodus, is it in Valinorth village? And the one who can wield it? Do they live there as well? Would that be me? Hmm, we will never know what he told him. <laughs> uh oh, by the time we catch up with Ulrich, 
It's already too late. His large blade is deadlocked with one of the enemy soldiers. Valessa draws her daggers, and I hold out my sword. Ready. We order you to cease your resistance! Those who support the rebellion must perish! I like I like the armor actually, or the, the mask. Looks kinda of like a stormtrooper. <laughs> To break the deadlock, Ulrich kicks Opnet in the gut. They stumble back and raid the blade with a flourish. It isn't much longer until they charge towards him again. Valessa, your dagger! Ulrich jumps out of the way and rolls towards us. Landing on his knees, he pries one of the daggers from her grip. Without even looking, he throws it behind himself. He closes his eyes and looks down at the ground. When he hears the impact of the dagger, his ears fall back. For a moment, it looks like he's actually sad. Spirits. Please forgive my misdeeds. I acted only to protect those under my watch. Ulrich cares about the spirits? For some reason, I didn't expect that. But before I can think about it this further, something happens. Catching Valessa and I off guard, we're in complete disbelief. Huh? Ah! <laughs> he notices a shocked expression on both of our faces. Rising to his feet, it's not long before he wears the same look. But. Why would my char would the, the, why would our character be surprised over that th this guy cares about the spirits since we don't know anything? We only know like that we are a seer, we don't know, know anything about spirits and stuff, so why would that be a surprise to us? Hmm. The enemy soldier fell, as expected, but there was nothing inside. Scattered pieces of armor litter on the ground. As we process this revelation, confusion soon assails us. This was no ordinary attack. But we just saw it was impossible. What's going on? Ulrich, what are those things? I don't know. Come closer, you two. This doesn't feel right. Empty suits of armor with a hatred for the rebellion. Only those who've mastered the spirits could do this. I'm afraid this is much larger than we thought. But that can't be true. The spirits are pure. They aid us. Yeah, sure looks like they wanted to help. <laughs> That's not my only concern, though. Look at this. She scoffs and steps toward the helm. Kneeling down, she pulls the dagger out of it. Do you recognize these colors, Ulrich? No, why would I? Gold and white. The triumvirate standard. I would have never made such a deduction, but only they could wield the spirits in this fashion. Let's ask what the triumvirate is, because we don't know anything about that. <laughs> Our supposed protectors. To some, even the creators of Alestia. I have no idea why they'd want to do this to us. Oh. Wouldn't be the first time they attempted occupation. They hinted that the rebellion was involved here. Valessa, do you know anything about that? I don't. So much has changed lately. With our last elder gone, Miles has been in charge. Maybe he has something to tell us. It's worth a shot. We should see if he's alive. Protecting you is my goal, but now I want answers. If anyone knows about this, it would be him. To the Elder's house, then. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so what I'm wondering now is, are these people rebellion? Do they, don't they know about the rebellion? Uh, so, because the rebellion people had the sword, didn't they? And the, the triumphant wanted the sword and these people might have the sword but they don't know it so they don't know that they are rebellion right uh I, i'm not uh, oof. okay we'll, we'll see <laughs> i follow after valessa and ulrich we walk along the circular road surrounding the water tank i make note of it for later it might help us to put out the flames more suits of armor lit the ground there are so many of them are we still in the vision or are we have you woken up it makes me feel a bit hopeful that, like, we stood a chance. The village wasn't defenseless, and this was a proof. Aren't you glad we waited now? If we rushed in head first, we'd be dead. You sure? Then where are the villagers' bodies? I only see the suits of armor lying around. My point. That was a good question, actually. No blood, no signs of a major struggle, only the fire and the glistening of the white armor. That's a good sign. Then they won and fled to safety. Are there any havens in Valinorth? I'd say the Elder's house and the Grand Tree. The fire may not have reached either, yet. Wait, how many people can fit in the Grand Tree? Hundreds, easily. 
not as good of a sign as I thought. The enemy could be trying to round everyone up, put them all in one place before killing them. <laughs> That's dirty. But it works. We still don't know what they're after. It can't be genocide. It must be something else. Does Valinorth have anything the Triumvirate would want? Did the change in leadership bring anything with it? Like I said, we'd have to talk to Milas. But I doubt he'd be at the Grand Tree. They look at each other, and then look at me. I could tell that Valessa was pushing up towards Milos, but that's because she knew that this was a vision. But what if there are people in the Grand Tree? Is Milos more important than all of them? It would be cold to let everyone die. Yeah, but is are the visions even real? That we don't know. I, I mean, have you been told that? Are they? Is this real? Is this time traveling? Is this a different dimension? Uh, is this just like, or is this just going on in my head? Like, I am holding up this whole like version of reality in my mind and when I wake up it will disappear? I don't know. Ulrich, this is larger than Valinorth. Especially if it involves the Rebellion. Information could save entire villages. I don't like what you're suggesting. Of course I will have to decide on this one. Like it's any better than what you suggested? Using the people as pawns to buy us time? How is this any different? They fume at each other, but realize that it's a stupid argument. In the midst of this battle, nothing was so black and white. Though I find it odd that Ulrich switched viewpoints so fast. This is a matter of Valinor's future. Such things are under the jurisdiction of the Seer. I stand by his side, and you stand by both of ours. Yeah, so I, we, we have to decide now what to do. That is, unless you want to abandon your job. But that wouldn't look good on your perfect record. <laughs> I guess you can fight dirty too. I don't like this, but you have me by the throat. I can only hope that you make the right choice. He stares at me with a serious look on his face. Talking about putting me on the spoof. Spot spoof. <laughs> Talking about putting me on the spot. But if it was my role, I had to fill the shoes. What are we going to do? Oh, I guess we gotta focus. But because we, st as I said, I don't know if this is real or not. Is this a real, real life? Or is this just a vision? She says it's a vision, but is this like... For seeing... We need information. I, I can't... Uh, I, I need more information. So that's what I'm gonna do. I vow to stop this attack. And I need information. If anybody could give us that information, it would be Milas. He would be able to shed light on the rebellion involvement too. Good. We're on the same page. We can use that information to help others. It would be selfish to focus only on Balanorth. I hope you two are certain about this. You're gambling with hundreds of lives. Ulrich didn't understand this like we did. And we weren't about to waste time lecturing him. I was grateful that his job required following us. We continued in the same direction, heading to Milo's house. I didn't feel good about b abandoning the others, but we had to do it. This was real. I'd used the future to sheet the present. So it, it is the future. I, I, I'm actually seeing... I'm actually time traveling then. Right? Right? Am I? Am I not? And then I go back and wake up and I can just undo it? I mean, I, I don't do the thing, right? Am I, am I right? In the present day, Damek found himself lost in thoughts. Using the tunnels under maze of her solitude, he found peace. There was much a plan, but for once, they had the upper hand. So is... I didn't remember what it said at the beginning. But is this present day? It, it has to be. This is present day. And the other thing where we are doing the choices is the future, right? Right? Hmm. Valinorth. The Blade of Exodus. Ooh. There must be something the spirits aren't telling us. Something we could use to take down the Triumvirate. When I touched the blade, I saw our victory. But I'm not trained to interpret such things. I pray for the cooperation of Valinorth. One of his advisors approaches, careful not to startle him. When he realizes he's detected, he lets out a soft yawn. Another one of those sleepless nights, Damek? Ulrich? I can't blame you. It's been the same with me. Did I hear you say something about Valinorth? Yeah, I was uh, thinking out loud. In Valinorth, there's a person who can peer into the future. 
That's why I had Pro bring the blade there last week. Why does his uh, thing here look like a nose? <laughs> like not a nose, like not, like a dog nose, but like a human nose. <laughs> I'm aware of their culture, but their seers use spirits, not a blade. Do you think it will be that easy? Worth a gamble, isn't it? It's not my place to wield knowledge of the future. But the seers are experts, conditioned from birth. Worth the gamble, isn't they? <laughs> Pro has sent word that the current seer is male. His investigation is progressing slower than I'd like. We need to pick up the pace, and fast. Now that they have the blade, they're a target. The Triumvirate is likely planning their attack as we speak. That's why I've decided to send an experienced fighter. I guess that's me. No, it's not. I've had the mayor of Marcia <laughs> write up a decree. It will allow you entry and the ability to complete what Pro started. On paper, and to everyone else, it's a simple export. Only Mylas knows the importance of this blade. All you have to do is deliver it from Valinorth back to me. That is, with the seer at your side, Ulrich. So, they say even here that Mylas knows. Mylas is the one to talk to. Then why was Ulrich so hesitant to talk to him? To, um, to Milos. Or maybe not hesitant, but where was he like, no, we have to save the people. His mission is to go to Milos. You seem to think that will be easy. It's not likely they know the truth of Balinorth. I can bring the seer, but they'll just decline. Present yourself as a mercenary, not a rebel. Tell them a meeting of importance is happy in Mazio. We want their ability to help with some hmm, important decisions. Oh, so these are the rebels, and we are just civilians, like just uh, the people, like the people of the of the land. Dishonesty, great way to start a partnership. It worked for us, don't you remember? Look at how invaluable you've become. <laughs> Ulrich laughed and turned to look at the dark depth of the tunnel. At the moment, everything ahead seems bleak and uncertain. Having an ally cast light on that future would be a tremendous boon. So this is it, isn't it? With the seer at our side, they can direct us. We can secure the victory that you witnessed. Is he also a seer? This, this dude, is he also a seer? I almost don't believe it, but it's true. Now I have to be honest with you, Ulrich. There's a reason why I'm sending you instead of asking Pro. And what's that? He may not be strong enough to face what's coming. It's not just a hunch that Valinorth will be attacked. In our victory, I saw its death and destruction. <sighs> oh no. I see. So I ask that you protect the Seer and his allies at all costs. And when you come across Pro, have him join you as well. I'll make sure to prepare an exquisite welcoming party. I'll leave first thing in the morning. What did you see exactly? Nothing you can't fight your way out of. But trust me, it will show them the truth. And when you get back, they'll be ready to fight. But promise me one thing, and one thing only. That along the way, the seer touches the blade. If he can wield it, then we have our greatest weapon. Hmm. But that wasn't the sword that he gave me before, right? Or was it? Because... Ulrich gave me a sword and was like, oh, how old is we need to fight? Ooh. Hmm. Was that the sword they are talking about? The magic sword? No, it can't have been because that's what he went there to find, right? We entered Milo's house and immediately spread out. After a few moments, it's evident that nobody's here. Ulrich sighs, but Valesa isn't ready to give up. I don't know what you expected. You think the Elder would just stay here? I assume he's at the Grand Tree as well. No, there has to be something here. It's not him, but his books as well. He must have some kind of record. Record of what exactly? Ulrich, the Triumvirate is burning down Valinorth. <laughs> they seem to think we're caught up with the rebels. Thinking the Elder is clueless? That's stupid. She walks over to her large window and looks outside. We're all relieved that the flames haven't reached us yet. Looking through some papers, she whispers to herself. Come on, Milas, give us something. You're smarter than this, I know it. Shipping manifests anything. 
With a renewed determination, Ulrich examines the large table. He shuffles paper aside and flips through the books. It's almost like he's in a rush to find something first. None of this is helping, Vanessa. It's everything you'd expect to find. No, oh, there has to be something here. Come on, Sierra, give us a hand. It's optional, but highly recommend that you talk to your comrades. Oh, okay, there they are. Cute! <laughs> okay, let's start by looking around first. I walk over to Valessa and stands beside her. She's hard at work, reading papers and pushing books aside. I've never seen someone quite so determined. Hey, have any luck yet? Uh, sorry, I was just watching you. <laughs> oh, uh, alright. But maybe you should look as well. Check out the tables and bookshelves? Okay. <laughs> I nod and turn back to the rest of the room. I guess I should help, instead of watching them. She was certain that we'd find something, and I trusted her. Okay, here is some stuff. I crawl under the table. It's full of useless trinkets. Whatever we're looking for, I doubt this down here. Hey, it isn't playtime. Get out from under there. How about you join me? <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. If you pass for authority around here, we're all dead. <laughs> okay. I get out from under the table after Ulrich's verbal lashing. He might have disagreed, but we had to s we had to search everywhere we could. Okay, you guys gonna comment on everything I look at? Uh, the 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 wall here. It's a map of Alestia. I've seen it many times, but you don't remember anything. Or did you get your memory back? I don't understand. We're in Valley North. We're Mesa in the north. East of Mesa is Alaranthia, and north is Baltius. These four nations make out our world. Each is governed over by the general of the Triumvirate, except for Valley North, which has remained non partitioned It's odd how I remember these basics, but little else. Okay, that explains it then. I wonder if this attack is an attempt to occupy Valley North. After that, our four nations will be under their control. Hmm. Let's look here. Hey, it's a ladder! Actually, it's a step ladder. Isn't it the same thing? I doubt we have time to argue this. To avoid further conflict, I nod and move on. Uh, what about here then? I walk over to the bookshelf and see what I can find. It seems to be full of books about the spirit realm and Valinor. Somehow I don't think either of these subjects will help. Eventually I come across a book about the rebellion. I doubt this is what we need, but I decide to take a look. As I open it, a piece of paper falls out. Milas's note. Recently, the Rebel Alliance has reached out to me. At first, I pushed them away, thinking them little more than a rogue group of bandits. But they said they knew the truth about my father. How could they know? In my situation, it was hard to resist temptation. I had to ask them exactly what they knew. The truth shocked me, and I have yet to tell anybody. I might take it to my grave. It's not the truth I expected, but it did shake me to my core. My father was in the middle of an important task. As his son, I felt that it was my duty to help finish it. I have no hatred for the Triumvirate. This is simply a matter of familial ties. Were anybody posed with such a situation, I doubt their actions would differ from mine. It doesn't seem too difficult either. They've given me a blade and tasked me with protecting it. In the next little while, they will send an envoy to pick it up. At that point, I am to send someone special with them. I must keep their name secret so nobody finds out. This envoy, however, will be coming any day. I can't wait to meet him. I've been told that he knew my father, and he would have all manner of stories to tell. Would that be Ulrich? Also, I'm so thankful that this game is voiced. I would, or I would have had to read all of this. Jeez. Click to continue. Uh, should I show the note to Ulrich and Valessa? Um, not yet. I want to talk to Ulrich first. Because I didn't do that. Hmm. Oh, as so I have to ask him stuff. What are your thoughts on our culture? Find anything useful? No, there's not much here. But I guess if we spread out, we stand a better chance. Not that there's too much ground to cover. Uh, Valessa sure seems determined. Actually, I was going to ask you. I thought you two were in sync or something. Don't think I didn't notice your secret talks. <gasps> oh no! But I'm not mad or anything. I know the relationship between you and your culture. Whatever it is, it's not like you're plotting against me. <laughs> you will see, Ulrich. You will see. 
Um, let's ask him all the stuff. Huh? You mean today or in general? Uh, 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 ask about attack then. Oh, I'm a mercenary from Mazeo. I was actually hired to come bring you back there. A summit is happening and they want your input. Uh, do you need my input or my power? Look, I don't ask for specifics. I do this to get paid and make a living. If you want, feel free to ask them when we get there. Okay. And that is, if you two even agree to follow me. But right now, I can't let you die on my watch. We will discuss the rest once we're out of harm's way. The rest. <laughs> uh, tell me about Mademaisio. It's basically the hub of Alestia. Ports from there go to the rest of the known world. A huge city of commerce. It's full of strange people. Hmm. But you'd get stabbed in the back before you find help. That's what puts people like me in business. Protectors of the weak. Well, not that I'm calling you weak, but you get the idea. <laughs> what kind of summit is this? Because of its central location, it's the perfect meeting spot. The generals from Alarinthia and Baltia sail over annually. Valinorth is non-partisan, so you usually sit this one out. Maybe it's a chance to get Valinorth more invested in Alestian politics. But they want your input and I've been sent to pick you up. I guess it's a good thing I got here when I did, right? Yeah, I guess. Uh, the timing is awfully convenient, though. Is that an accusation of some kind? Where I come from, you don't accuse the guy with the bigger sword. I'll pretend I didn't hear that and carry on with his search. Well, this isn't where you are from, Ulrich. <laughs> uh, was there anything else we can... Do you have any theories about all this? Well, yeah, if the Triumvirate is truly responsible. Alestia is divided into four nations, right? Valinorth, Mazeo, Alarinthia, and Baltius. Each nation has a general that serves the Triumvirate. They rule in their stead and make sure everything runs smoothly. Except, you guessed it, the Elder or General of Valinorth. No one really knows why you remained untouched for so long. But the theory is that they don't want to anger the spirits. You know, because of all that spiritual energy residing here. So I'm thinking this is a power play. Take the fourth nation and control the whole world. They did the same thing to Mazeo about 20 years ago. Sounds a lot like Avatar, like the anime. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what happened with them in Mazeo? The same thing that's happening here, but with less fire. They occupied the free town and placed a general in charge. They used terrible force, but the town improved because of it. I'll never agree with their methods, but Mazea was peaceful. If they're burning villages down now, though, unforgivable. Perhaps the rebellion isn't in the wrong after all. Aren't you with the rebellion? Uh, what are your thoughts on our culture? It's not like anything I've seen before. So in tune with the spirits, you let them govern you. The rest of Alestia has history in their own hands. Not that it's a bad thing, of course. It's just different from the rest of the world. From what I've seen, the spirits have a good grasp on things. So in Val Valencia, or Valencia, here, they're more like spiritual, like living in the woods and stuff. Not, I mean, they're not like as civilized, not civilized, but would be like almost like they are more religious almost uh, in a sense while in the bigger the rest of the world there are more like building cities and not caring much about the nature and like we do today uh, almost like they build societies and stuff not having to do with spirits I guess interesting the rest of the world doesn't care about spirits yeah let's ask that well you're in the middle of a forest out here you know what they say about nature and spiritual energy. The rest of the world has been deforested and settled differently. It's not that they don't care for spirits. Actually, it's more like they don't know anything else. They've lived their entire lives in areas devoid of spiritual energy. But Valinorth is so peaceful while the rest of the world isn't. It might very well be the influence of the spirit realm. You have a good thing going here. I can't stand what's happening. Uh... Hmm? Hmm? Valessa, did you have anything for me? Find anything useful? I wish. This whole place is a mess. Honestly, I don't even know what to look for. Milas isn't stupid, though. He'd leave something. He's cute. 
Uh, how long has he been an elder? You seem to think I love him. What if it's helping the rebellion? Hmm. Yeah, he seemed kind of young, actually, from the notes. Let's ask how long he's been an elder. Honestly, only a few months. He was thrust into the position against his will. Something happened to his father, the previous elder. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be old to be an elder, I suppose. Elder is more like a title? But he's done such a good job. It's crazy. The leadership of Valinor did not skip a beat. He must have been training under his father. But what happened to his dad? Nobody knows, actually. He went on a trip to Mazio and never came back. Search parties came up with nothing. It's like he vanished. Hmm. Normally we'd hold an election, but things were crazy. That and Valmorth is really big on family and tradition. Everyone just seemed to expect that Miles would take over. Hmm. Uh, you seem to think I love him. He's performed admirably for the position he's in. I doubt even a full election would find a better candidate. I was scared for a while, but he really filled the role. Nice. He didn't want to do it, but he kind of had to. It all happened so fast, I'm not sure of the specifics. But it was seamless. He almost couldn't notice. If he doesn't want to do it, he should ha shouldn't have, have to. Maybe I should step up after this is all over. Oh well, life puts you in some crazy situations. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what she says about me stepping up. Wait, you want to be the elder? Are you sure you don't have a full plate right now? <laughs> I mean, we could always try to find someone more willing. Okay. But we can worry about that after this is over. There's lots to do, and we can't even find him. I really hope that nothing bad has happened. Not that I know what an elder does, really, but I was just more curious about what she would say about it. Uh, what if he's helping the rebellion? I want to get to the bottom of it, then. There's more going on than we can take at face value. He'd have his reasons, and I'd want to hear all of them. Uh, could anything excuse what's going on right now? That's the thing, though. It's not actually happening. If he can explain himself, and we can prevent this, well, then we can deal with it in a reasonable way. Ooh. We can't condemn him on a vision like this. That's like hating someone for what they do in a dream. Besides, we have no way of confirming this is his fault. Hmm. Okay, uh... Are you sure this is a vision? I'm making a pretty educated guess. I'm trained to detect this kind of stuff. But it's so weird, because... This feels like reality. Yeah, that's what I mean. That, is it reality for you, still? What's going to happen to me? I mean, technically, I'm not real, right? <sighs> that's hard to take in. This feels real to me. Okay, so the game haven't explained, really. That's, that's good. I thought I was afraid that I was just thinking too much about it and being stupid. But the game explicitly tells us now that it haven't told us how it works. But the way you're acting, yeah, it makes me certain. It's very rare that I become lucid in a vision. But with the evidence at hand, I'm very sure. But then, how does she know? Because if this is real and when I wake up, that means that there won't be a vision. So she will never have been in a vision. I mean, she will never have been aware like, oh, this is a vision going on right now, right? Because she will only have seen, like, the effect of it when when the seer be like, Oh, I saw this in a vision. But she will never remember the stuff in the actual vision, right? Hmm. Better not talk about it too loud, though. I don't want Ulrich to realize something is up. The rules state that only you and I can know. Uh... What would be home in telling him? Trust me, it's better for him not to know. He'd act recklessly, and he'd be really confused. Well, more reckless than normal, I mean. These are gifts, blessings, directly from the realm of spirits. We're not in any position to harm what they give us. Yeah, let's ask how long they last. As long as any other dream, I guess. Or maybe when the spirits decide you've seen enough. Hmm. That's one of the things we don't really know. I guess something traumatic, like your death, would end it. Our minds aren't fit to comprehend what would happen next. Huh. We should make the most of the time we do have in here. So that means if I die, I wake up? Why do the spirits give me visions? 
Nobody knows, but we assume it's to protect us. If we know it's coming, we can change what happens. Seers have done it time and time again for thousands of years. Hmm. A lot of people think they'll want something in exchange. That they're planting seeds to reap later down the line. <sighs> Stupid superstition if you ask me. They just want to help. Hmm. Nobody helps with free of us. <laughs> we must be eternally grateful. Now be, let's be asked uh, Theta. Well, uh, I guess we'll have to disagree on that. There's nothing more pure than the spirits. This gift is a truly beautiful thing. Is it though? You call this a gift? This particular vision, no. But the concept of visions in general, yes. Without them, we'd have gone extinct long ago. Hmm. They guide the world to a better future. And what's better, they ask for nothing in return. Only that we continue to harness this amazing power. Is that so? Okay, let's go back then. Uh, we know each other our whole lives? Yeah, it's just like I said. For better or worse. I was trained to be your scribe from a young age. We've been inseparable ever since. Cool. It's not exactly what I grew up wanting. But I'm not in a position to shun Valinor's tradition. Besides, I can think of people much worse to serve. Hmm. Oh, so many things to ask. What are the scribes' duties? Actually, you're seeing them firsthand. <laughs> Imagine how confused you'd be without me. We're supposed to guide you through these visions. Mm hmm But when you wake up, you also need to report to me. Or, I guess you can report to Milas in these dire circumstances. Either way, I help you in here and you report out there. Okay. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't remember this. You'd wake up, shrug it off, and go about your day. <sighs> Imagine what would happen to Valinor then. Interesting. Interesting. This is actually very interesting. Um, seems like you're m almost more important than me. I'm sure I could do this on my own. No, you're more important than me. Of course not. We're two sides of the same coin. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to do anything without you. A scribe would do little good without visions to inhabit. And, uh, and you will do nothing without me, so we need each other. Ooh. Well, are you the only scribe? Yes and no. Actually, it's pretty technical. I'm your only scribe, but there's also a scribe in training. Mm -hmm. His name is Fortin, and he's prepared to take over if needed. Oh. It's a recent addition to the ranks, but it helps out a lot. Without a scribe, your abilities would be pretty useless. Having someone fully trained means no one misses a beat. Interesting. Imagine if you had this vision while I was gone. Just from that, I think you can gauge Fortum's importance. He's a nice guy too, but I'm sure he's long since fled. I'm sure we'll see more of him. I'm sure you'll meet him when you get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> he tends to knock on your door first thing in the morning. So, let's focus on the matter at hand, alright? How long have you known each other? Didn't we say that you've known each other her whole life? Since I was a little kid, actually. I was trained to be your scribe from the moment I could speak. It's a prestigious position, and I couldn't exactly say no. Some of the other children were jealous. Their parents too, which seemed really immature to me. <laughs> Apparently, there's some competition for the role. But the Elder chose me, and like it or not, here I am. I guess I'm just blessed that I actually do like this arrangement. In the end, the spirits really were looking down on me. <laughs> Even if being here right now is terrifying, I'm still happy. Doing my duty to save Valinorth? It's a dream come true. We don't know if the other kids would have fit this role. Yeah, I mean, it's... Oops. Yeah, it's definitely more important to have someone who fits the role than someone who, like, want it more or feel more of... feel like they have the right more to do it. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's... I think that's, a, that's good. Uh, are you really forced into do this? Well, I guess the answer is both yes and no. Before my parents passed on, they took care of the paperwork. Until I came of age, I had no choice but to obey. Wow. When I did come of age, however, I got to choose. Leave Valinor and pursue my own dreams, or be your scribe. <laughs> I guess it's pretty obvious which one I chose, huh? Yeah, I mean, it would, it would have been the only thing you knew. Like, you have whole, had your whole life prepared for you so it would be probably been more hard to like 
leave everything behind when there's already a path laid out for you. So while I was forced into the role, I chose to stick with it. Although, if this is any indication, we might have to leave Valamorph. Hmm. In that case, I get to be your scribe and travel the world. Oh, so you get out, get both of the, the things. I'm glad to have you by my side, Valessa. Yeah, and same to you. Yay. Look at this vision. We're going to do great things. Well, let's get to the bottom of this and save our village together. Yeah. Uh, okay, I guess I can show them the note now. Because now I have talked to them. <laughs> this is it. This is what we needed. I called over Ulrich and Valesta, showing them what I found. Ulrich seems tensed up, and even a little anxious. So Milas was working with the Rebellion. Apparently, he was sheltering Wade. Could that be why they attacked us? Doing all this for a blade? Let's be realistic, Valesta. It must have been very important. I'm assuming Milas took it with him. Must hmm. be blades lying around here. But about this envoy he mentioned, and this supposed special person. Ulrich, why did you lie to us? Yeah, why, Ulrich? Why did you do this? It's true. Anybody would have figured out by now. He seems to admit defeat and closes his eyes. Almost like he didn't want to see us as he spoke. We didn't think you'd come if you knew. I tried to hide it, but I guess there's no point anymore. After seeing this attack, I need to request your help. This is far from the first village they'll raise. They're up to something much bigger. That's why you wanted to come here, right? Yeah, you're right. There's little time to argue and nowhere else to go. It looks like you got what you needed, Ulrich. Let's head back to the Grand Tree. There might still be time. We all nod, acknowledging our unspoken truth. Ulrich didn't care about those in the Grand Tree. We he only knew that coming here would blow his cover. But I know that this information would be a huge advantage. We had a probable cause of their attack and knew Myler's secrets. We head back to the town square, instilled with hope. Hey, Am I going to wake up soon? The flames are spread, but it's not too bad. I need to make sure that I didn't inhale too much smoke. As we take slow, cautious steps, my mind is conflicted. There is one thing I can't seem to get on my mind. This blade, or whatever, was it worth all of this? Destroying an entire culture over something so simple? Sorry, I can't see all that well. You two will have to lead the way. I'm not as familiar with the surroundings. We crouch and make our way through Valley North. I have a rising urge to cough, but I try to hold it back. We wouldn't want to make it this far and get caught. The water tank is cracking and leaking his consents. A small stream tinkles down through the village. This would be our best tool to hinder the flames. This isn't right. Not at all. Where is everyone, Ulrich? There's not a single body. Like I said, they could be at the Grand Tree. It's isolated and far away from here. I'm willing to bet the flames won't reach it. It doesn't make any sense, though. Think about it for a second. In that alcove, we heard screams. The people of Valinor were dying. Not only burning, but getting attacked. There should be bodies all over the place. She was right, and it bothered me as well. The current scene didn't match what we heard. Was it possible for visions would work this way? What are you suggesting, Valessa? Do you think they stole the bodies? If they did, there'd be blood. There's nothing, not even a trace. It doesn't make any sense, Ulrich. Let's say you're right, for argument's sake. Why is it more important than going to the Grand Tree? Talking about it only seems to be wasting time. There might not be anybody at the Grand Tree. I don't think we know where we're up against. We should cut our losses and run, Ulrich. Hmm. You need to make up your mind, Valessa. Running back and forth will get us all killed. Hmm. Are we going to the Grand Tree or not? No. <laughs> It's true, she was changing her mind far too fast. At the moment, she seems to value our survival. Could she be starting to doubt that this is a vision? All I had to go on was her word. I only believed her because this made sense at the time. How could I gather information if we left Valley North? If you want to leave, we're going to Peregrino. It'd be the first place for survivors to flee. 
If Milas is there, he can tell us all about this attack. Hmm. It's good enough to plan an action, and we nod to each other. But as we continue to move, everything changes. <laughs> A laugh from atop the water attack, almost maniacal. Such loyalty to the man who condemned you all. <sighs> if you want to know where Mylis is, I'd love to show you. This I can dude. even reunite you with the rest of the villagers. This is the dude, this is the, the evil guy, uh, with the, the, the master, what his name was. We stop in our tracks and look up at the water tank. A silhouette of a man stands there, gripping a large blade. It's white and gold, with majesty embellished by the flames. It reminds me of the suit of armor we fought earlier. I have no doubt that there was some sort of relation. We must be looking at the man responsible for this. He jumps down from the water tank and lands with a roll. I take a few steps back, ensuring that Ulrich remains on the front. If his job was our protection, now was the time to shine through. <laughs> what a pitiful little village. Yeah, it was him. It's no fun when they don't put up a fight. Did you know what they did in their final moments? Oh no. They called out to you, Seer. <gasps> they wanted your help, and you let them down. No! I guess the stories I heard about you were wrong. Sylvia, you already have the blade. Let us leave. We can resolve this peacefully. No survivors. Don't you remember the rule? Like a garden, we have to pluck all the weeds. <sighs> Is that all these people are to you? Sovi, they have a culture and history. You know him? Yes, but it's not theirs that I'm interested in. In fact, I'm only here to claim the seer's soul. Everything else was just for fun, for sport. This becomes personal as they seem to know each other. They both were for opposite forces. I'm sure they fought before. It sickens me that he likes killing the villagers as a sport. You don't mean... My orders had nothing to do with burning down this village. I wasn't supposed to kill anyone unless I had to, either. But you know, my apprentice isn't very fun to train with. <sighs> Disgusting. Valesa, take the seer and run. I'll catch up with you at Peregrino. Ulrich pulls out his blade and assumes a fighting stance. Sovi does the same, and their eyes meet in deadlock. I look at Valesa, and she nods before starting to run. Unfortunately, we don't make it very far. We heard Ulrich scream and turn back to look. Sovi smirks at us, his blades deep in Ulrich's abundment. Where do you think you're going, you two? It would be rude to leave before I'm done with you. Watch, and you'll see why you can never win. Oh no. With a grin on his face, he twists the blade inside Ulrich. <gasps> oh no! Defying all possibility, the gear of the base starts to spin. Soon after, everything is engulfed with the blinding white light. Please, run. What? We hear Ulrich's final words at the light of sides. When everything is back to normal, he's completely gone. No blood, no body, just Sophie standing there with pride. What? What did you do? Did the sword like suck him in or something? I put his spirit to good use, like I planned to do with your little friend. Oh no! He points behind us. As we turn to look, the scattered piece of armor on the ground start to move. They assemble, forming bodies that move in a slow, stiff fashion. But after a few moments, the movements become more natural. It's not much longer till an army of automations blocks our path. Are these the souls that he, that he, like he... He sucks up with his sword and uses them to power the armors. There was nowhere to go, so we blocked the other side. You... you're using the spirits to power that armor. Does that mean we've been fighting our own? That was what he was doing! Ah! Now you finally understand. The force of life itself bends to the triumvirate. There's no way that you could hope to stop us. <sighs> He takes slow steps forward me, holding out his blade. I finally understood why it was so important to the Triumvirate. They could command an army of spirits simply by possessing it. As soon as I harvest the seer's soul, I'll leave. Valesa, if you behave, I might let you go. Visit the rebels. Tell them what's coming. Oh, no. This is it. 
If he attacks me, the vision would end. I was armed with all the information I needed to counter this attack. The true purpose of the major players, and even the nature of the blade. He was so certain of his victory I had no idea. I took a step forward, embracing what was to come. When this future come to Valley North, we will be ready. He thrusts his blade inside me with little effort. The pain is so intense, but I'm overcome with hope. As my vision fades, I find the strength to say one final thing. Hmm? It's over for Solvi. You've already lost. Solvi, Valley North will never fall to you. No, the first one. It's over, Solvi. You've already lost. And uh, I guess this is where we end the first episode. It is. This is where we end the first episode. <laughs> so remember guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you didn't enjoy it and don't want to see more Winds of Change, leave a comment and tell me that, that you don't want to see more of this. Or tell me that you do want to see more. Um, because I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I have to be honest, I'm really into the story right now. So I would love to make another episode. So let me know what you thought. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me, you can either subscribe or like this video or check out my other content. Or do as these people and join my Patreon and get your name here at the end. Uh, you can also join my Discord server down the link in the description. And once a month... Or hopefully more. You can go and hang out with me and talk to me over the Discord and do a Patreon hangout. But yeah, I think that's all guys. I'm gonna go and start editing this video right now. I will see you in the next video guys. So take care and remember that you are loved and appreciated. And that you should be proud of who you are. Because I want to see you in the next video. So that is the sword, of course! <laughs>